Hello, you are welcome to Remedial One platform for learning. This platform has been designed to help students who are going to write their final exams in integrated science. WASI. Today we are going to look at 2022 integrated science past question. So let's look at the discussion. This is paper one, that's the objective test. So we are going to solve all the questions. I, I will explain to you the answers, why I chose that particular answer. So let's go. Number one, fertilization in flowering plants is known as double because A. One male gamete fertilizes the egg while the second fuses with the polar nuclei. B. Two embryo nucleus are formed. 3. The female nucleus is double penetrated by one male gamete while the other regenerates. And then D. Two cotyledons are formed. The correct answer is option A. That's the correct answer. That is, one male gamete fertilizes the egg while the second fuses with the polar nuclei. So that's the correct answer. Now let's go to question 2. A mating ratio of 1 is to 50 in goat breeding means that 800 females could be serviced by A. 6 males B. 10 males C. 50 males and then D. 60 males This is a simple ratio If 50 females could be serviced by 1 male then what about 800 females? So it will be like this 50 is equal to 1 Therefore 800 will be equal to 800 times 1 divided by 50. So the correct answer is option B, which is 16. So the correct answer here is option B. That is, if you have 800 females, then you need 16 males to service them. Let's go to question 3. The component of A used for welding is A. N2, that's nitrogen gas. B, C2, H2, which is called ethane gas. C, CO2, that is carbon 4 oxide gas. And then D, the option D is O2, which is oxygen gas. Let's look at the correct answer. In fact, welding flame is made up of oxyethane flame, a mixture of oxygen and ethane. But if you look at the question carefully, the question says that the component of air, which means that we are looking at the, the component which is found in air, the answers are ethane and oxygen. But you see that we don't have ethane in air, but we have oxygen in air as a part of the uh, component of air. Therefore, the correct option is option. So the component of air used for welding is option D, which is oxygen gas, O2. Question 4 says that one of the advantages of the free range system of poultry is that A. Elaborate housing is required. B. Birds can exercise their bodies. C. Green feed is always not available. And then D. Record keeping becomes a challenge. Now, when you talk about free range system, it means that you don't need any elaborate housing. So option A is out. And then if you look at option C, green feed is always not available, which is not true. Because always the birds go out and they are exposed to or they have access to green feed. So that option is also not true. If you look at option D, record keeping becomes a challenge. In fact, under the free range system, we don't have any challenge with record keeping because no proper record keeping is required. So the only option which is available is that the birds can exercise their bodies, which is true because once you uh, practice this free ring system the birds always go out and when they go out it means that they exercise their bodies so that is an advantage of the free ring system of poultry production so the correct option is option b now let's go to question five which is the next question the vacuum flux minimizes heat loss by i having a vacuum between the two surfaces ii polishing the two surfaces iii using a cock stopper which of the following statements above are correct in fact if you look at uh, the first option which is i having a vacuum between the two surfaces that one is correct because that vacuum prevents heat loss by radiation and then polishing the two surfaces also means that heat loss by radiation is prevented and then using a cock stopper prevent heat loss by conduction so the option for this particular answer is that all of them are correct so the correct option is d the correct option is that is all the options there are correct 
I have a vacuum between the two surfaces. That is true because it reduces heat loss. And then I, I polishing the two surfaces also reduces heat loss. And then using cork stopper also reduces heat loss. So all of them are correct. So the correct option is option D. Now let's go to question six. In the periodic table, all the elements within the same group have the same A, atomic number. B, number of isotopes. C, number of neutrons in the nuclei. And then D, number of electrons available for bonding. The correct answer here is option D. Why? Because in the periodic table, all the elements within the same group, they have similar chemical properties because they have the same number of valence electrons. Now it is the valence electrons which are always available for chemical bonding. And therefore, all the elements in the same group have the same number of electrons available for bonding. So the correct option is option D. Now let's go to question 7. Which of the following scientists is associated with the study of inheritance? A. Darwin B. Lamarck C. Mendel D. Linus The correct option is option C because inheritance or genetics. We say Gregor Mendel is the father of genetics. He is the one who is uh, associated with the study of inheritance or genetics. So the correct option is option C. Now let's go to question 8. Question 8. A body has a weight of 720 Newton. Calculate the mass of the body. And the acceleration due to gravity has been given to us as 10 meters per second squared. So how do we do it? We know that force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity forces mass times acceleration due to gravity now we are making mass the subject which means mass then becomes force divided by gravitational acceleration which then becomes the weight of the body is the same as force because weight is a form of force so it becomes 720 divided by 10 and the correct answer will be 72 kilograms so over here the correct answer is option the correct answer is option c let's go to question nine the question reads the potential difference across the terminals of a resistor is 24 volts the potential difference across the terminals of a resistor is 24 volts determine the current which will flow through the resistor with resistance of 15 ohms so over here we apply ohm's law which says that V equals I R. So you have been given the potential difference, which is V to be 24 volts, and you were to determine the current. So we make I the subject, which means that I becomes V divided by R, which is equal to 24 divided by the resistance, which is 15 ohm. And the answer for question 9 is point uh, which is 1.6 ampere so that is the correct answer now let's go to question 10 one function of water in the germination of seeds is that it a causes the seed to produce oxygen b it activates the enzymes to break down stored food c it kills the germs in the seed and then d it terminates the period of dormancy. The correct option is option B because water actually activates the enzymes in the seed which will break down the stored food so that the germinating seed will have energy and once there is energy then the seed will germinate. So the water activates enzymes which will break down stored food. So that is the correct option B. Now let's go to question 11. Thinning out means, that is in agriculture, when you say thinning out, what does it mean? A. Removing diseased crops from the farm. B. Pacing out seedlings in the nursery. C. Removing extra seedlings from a stand. And then D. Pacing out seedlings when planting. The correct option is option C. When you say thinning out, it means that we are removing extra seedlings from a stand so that there wouldn't be any overcrowding because when there is overcrowding the seeds will compete for nutrients and the seeds will not grow well but when you space them or when you remove those extra seedlings then the remaining seedlings will have enough air 
they will have enough nutrients and they will grow very well. So we call that process thinning out. That is removing extra seedlings from a stand. Question 12. An example of fungal disease of stored grain is an example of fungal disease of stored grain is A. Soft rot. B. Damping of maize mat. And then D. Mold. If I want to say fungus, an example is mold. So the best option is mold or option D. An example of fungal disease of stored grain is mold. When the grains become mold, it is a fungal. Now let's go to question 13. Question 13. The essential parts of a flower are A. Pistol and corolla. B. Stemming and sepal. C. Stemming and ovule. And then D. Pistol and stamen. So the correct option here is option D. That is pistol and stamen. So these are the essential parts of a flower. The pistol and the stamen. 14. The term used to describe all chemical reactions occurring inside an organism is A. Condensation B. Oxidation C. Polymerization D. Metabolism The correct option is metabolism. Option. But when we talk about chemical reactions occurring inside an organism, we can group them into two. One, we have what's called catabolism, which means that all chemical reactions which leads to breakdown of chemicals in this, in, in, inside an organism. And then anabolism, which means chemical reactions leading to the formation of substances or compounds in the organism. Now, when we put these two together, catabolism and anabolism, we call it metabolism. Uh, metabolism here is the correct option. That's all chemical reactions occurring inside of an organism. We call it metabolism. Question 15. Which of the following substances contributes to the depletion of the ozone layer? We know the ozone layer protects us from the harmful UV radiation from the sun. So there are certain gases which lead to its depletion. So which of the following gases or substances contribute to the depletion of the ozone, or, uh, of the ozone layer? I. Carbon 2 oxide, otherwise known as carbon monoxide. II, chlorofluorocarbon, otherwise known as CFCs. And then III, carbon 4 oxide, otherwise known as carbon dioxide. Now, let's look at the options. A is I only, B, II only, C, I and II only, and then D, II and III only. In fact, the correct options are CFCs, that's chlorofluorocarbon, and then carbon 4 oxide. Carbon monoxide is not part of the substance. So the correct option here is option D. Question number 16. An important function of organic matter in the soil is to A. Control harmful bacteria in the soil. B. Improve texture of the soil. C. Supply both micro and macro nutrients. And then D. Serve as a mulch. Serve as a mulch. So the correct option here is option C. That is, if you have organic matter in the soil, it supplies both micro and macro nutrients. When you say micronutrients, we are talking about nutrients which are required by plants in smaller quantities. Whereas macronutrients are the ones required by plants in large quantities. So organic matter supplies both micro and macro nutrients to plants. Question number 17. Question number 17. An example of a comb is A. Cocoa B. Ginger C. Onion D. Yab When we say comb, we are talking about the vegetative part of the plant. Now, if you look at A. Cocoa yam, the vegetative part is called comb. So it is the correct option. Ginger is called rhizome. Onion is called bulb. And then yam is tuber or set. So the correct option here is option A because it is cocoa yam which uses the comb as the vegetative or the propagating part. What is the coal? Now let's go to question number 18. The gas used in the welding touch belongs to the family of A. Arcades. B. Arcanoids. C. Arcanes. And then D. Uh, earlier on I said that the gas which is used for welding is made up of oxyethane, which is a mixture of oxygen and ethane. It's an organic compound or a hydrocarbon belonging to the family of arcane. The correct option here is arcane. So the gas there is ethane. So ethane belongs to the family of arcanes. It has carbon to carbon triple bond. So we call them arcanes. Yeah. Now let's go to question number 19. The radioactive radiation with the least penetration power is A. X-ray. B. Gamma ray. C. Alpha particle. D. Beta particle. Now, 
if you look at x-ray it is not a radioactive particle it is not a radioactive radiation though it is a radiation it is not radioactive so the options available to us are gamma ray alpha particle and then beta particle now among these three gamma alpha beta alpha is the bulkiest and the bulkiest always has the least penetration power therefore the correct option here is options because alpha is the bulkiest um, it has the least penetration power in fact gamma has the highest penetration power followed by beta and alpha is the least question number 20 terracing checks soil erosion by terracing checks soil erosion by a alternating strips of grass covered ground b increasing the slope of water flow c increasing speed of runoff water d reducing speed of runoff water the correct option is option reducing speed of runoff water because anytime you terrace it means that you are creating channels and that channels will reduce the speed of runoff water let's go to question number 21 the most important climatic factor affecting crop production in west africa is a temperature b rainfall c sunlight d wind now in africa or in west africa temperature is not a problem because always there is sunshine so the temperature is always right for crop production if you look at sun, sunlight it is always available wind is always available but the only factor which is not always available is rainfall because there is a season for rainfall so once that season is passed or once that season is not there it means we can't have crop production so the only important climatic factor affecting crop production in west africa will be rainfall that's the most important one because it is the limiting factor there now let's go to question number 22 in a step down transformer a there are more things in the primary coil than in the secondary coil b there are more things in the secondary coil than in the primary coil c the voltage of the secondary coil is higher than that of the primary and then d the current in the primary coil is more than the current in the secondary coil now let's look at step down transformer when we say step down transformer it always converts high voltage to low voltage that is high voltage from the source of production of the electricity to low voltage onto the load or into the household or into the load so that's the function of a, of a step down transformer it converts high voltage to low voltage and so the correct option here is option a there are more things in the primary coil so that if you have more things there the voltage there is very high than in the secondary coil so the secondary coil is the one that gives a uh, voltage to the load so always the primary things they have more coils than the secondary that is there is more voltage in the primary with higher number of coils than in the secondary with lower number of coils so the correct option here is option a that is there are more things in the primary coil than in the secondary question number 23 question number 23 an instrument that could be used to measure the relative density of an asset is a hydrometer b barometer c hygrometer and then d anemometer the correct option here is option a that is a hydrometer that is what we use to measure the relative density of an acid especially if you have car battery the liquid in the car battery or the electrolyte is an acid that is tetra of is six acid and we use this hydrometer or this instrument to check the density and for that matter the concentration of the acid so that we can know whether it is running off or not so that we can top it up or we can do it well so we use that instrument hydrometer to measure the relative density of an acid question number 24 the following substances are air pollutants except a sulfur four oxide b fertilizer c exhaust fuel and then d dust in fact all these are pollutants but as the only one which is not a pollutant is option b which is fertilizer in fact fertilizer is used to enrich the soil it doesn't cause pollution to the air rather if you have sulfur four oxide exhaust from fumes or dust they all cause air pollution except fertilizer which is not a pollutant of air